Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we have Michaela here, who is a natural redhead. So we are going to be doing a redhead makeup tutorial. If this is something that you are interested in, then please keep on watching. So first I'm gonna use a spoolie just to brush through her brows. She already has pretty naturally full brows, which I am so obsessed with and so jealous with. So I'm gonna use this Jordana eyebrow pencil in the shade Soft Brown, and surprisingly enough, it is the exact shade of her hair. Like, it is the perfect shade. So I'm using that pencil brush just to, you know, fill in her brows very lightly, and then of course brush through so all of the product is pretty smooth. And next I'm gonna take some concealer, and I'm taking a concealer wheel by Krylon, it's what I use for most of my um, my clients and I'm just going to use that with a flat definer brush from like BH Cosmetics brush is so old um, but I'm gonna use that to carve out underneath of the brow and also blend that concealer down to also prepare for concealing the lids now you want to make sure that you have an eyeshadow base so that way your eyeshadow has something to stick to and adhere to and also um, become a little bit more vibrant. I personally like to take concealer, but you can use an eyeshadow primer as well. So after that, I take a setting powder. This is the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Um, I was gonna use this for her face, but it is a little too dark for her skin tone. So I use it to blend out the, or actually set down the concealer. And then I'm taking the um, I Love Sarahi Dose of Colors um, eyeshadow palette, and this is the shade Loungy. I'm taking this with a Morphe blending brush, and I'm just blending this into the crease. This is going to be the transition shade. I wanted to go with something a little bit more peachy today, so I ended up using this shade along with most of the shades in this palette, actually, to create a more peachy kind of eye look. So I'm blending this into the crease, working that out into the outer corner first. So that's where I'm depositing the bulk of the product, and then I'm going to blend the rest in, as, you know, after there's not too much eyeshadow left on. Next, I'm gonna go in the shade Wanderlust. And I'm gonna take this out into the outer corner and blend this out there. This shade is a lot deeper and a lot more red, but it is still a really, really, really pretty color. And it still worked for her skin tone, surprisingly enough. So I blended that out into the outer corner, and then I'm just gonna go back over it with a little bit more of a loungy and just blend that over the top so it's not a harsh line. Now I'm using a NYX pigment primer. Um, the main reason I'm using a pigment primer is because I'm gonna be going in with a pigment, and it's gonna give that pigment something to stick to and really adhere to you can use a, like fix plus or like a setting spray or eye drops or something like that but NYX sent this eye primer over and I haven't gotten a chance to use it so I decided to use it along with one of their new pigments this is like a shimmer pigment and it's in the shade um, summer I believe or no peachy it's a really pretty peachy color and it is sparkly and with that eyeshadow primer it is so like metallic foiled like like it was it was nice you guys I was thoroughly surprised by the way that the primer along with the flat brush along with the pigment applied it was really 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 nice and the brush that I'm using is a dose of colors like I think it might be like a concealer brush it's just a flat definer or like a flat brush that makes applying that pigment really 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 nice because it sticks to the eyeshadow or the primer and also to the pigment so now I'm just taking the E25 a little bit with a little bit more Wonderlust and just blending that onto the outer V just to blend that with the pigment and make sure that everything is nice and seamless. And then I'm gonna wipe everything away. So because it's a pigment, of course you're gonna have a little bit of fallout, especially if you don't tap off any excess of the product. So I'm just using a little bit of the Garnier micellar water with a with like a, a cotton round and just like wiping away any of the pigment and for lashes we are going to be using the Ardell faux mink wispies this lash in particular I've never tried or never used it's a little bit more um, like va va boom like a little bit more uh, poppin than the regular demi wispies which is something if you want to you know to look a little bit extra you go for it. so I'm gonna prime her skin I'm using the benefit professional the pearl primer and I'm just gonna use that on a duo fiber brush she does have really large pores in the cheek area which is the main reason that we're gonna be using this primer and also it's the pearl primer so it's gonna give a little bit of luminosity but not too much to where it makes her look greasy or oily it's just gonna prime her nice and then for foundation we're using a covergirl true blend matte made foundation in the shade l15 I am so 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 thankful for CoverGirl for sending me these products because I'm able to use them in majority of my client makeup tutorials. This 
shade. This shade isn't the lightest. L10 is the lightest, but it has a little bit more golden hues. And L15 has a little bit more pinky hues. So she is very, very, very fair, but has a lot of pink undertones so I am so happy I found this foundation I had this foundation to use for her because my girl Michaela is pretty darn pale but we're just going to blend this in with a Morphe uh, blending sponge and then for concealer I had to mix the NYX Pro foundation mixer with the Maybelline uh, Fit Me concealer in the shade L15 this is the lightest shade that I have I think it's the lightest shade that Maybelline has but with the foundation mixer which is pretty much white I squeeze quite a bit of that and mix it with the concealer so that way it was lighter than her actual foundation so pretty much a white concealer because when you're that fair you don't there's not a lot of concealers and a lot of brands that cater to you so mixing the two created the perfect combination and I was so happy that NYX sent this to me like a year ago and I still had it because I was able to do that uh, they also have a really 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 dark one that you can mix to make things darker so that's you know that's a part of the makeup artistry as well if there's something that is way too dark for your skin tone or way too light for your skin tone you can mix in either of the foundation mixers by NYX and make it your skin tone or your foundation shade so right now I'm just going ahead and blending that all in with the same sponge and I'm going to use the Dermablend loose setting powder this is in the shade original so it's white you guys it's like white translucent so I decided to go in with this one because the Laura Mercier has a little bit of a like tannish kind of tinge like hint and this one does not so it looks a lot better on her skin and it didn't give me that weird kind of tint but we're just gonna go ahead and set that all in and then we're going to bronze the skin with the elf bronzer palette I am only using the top left square because that is the lightest bronzer that I own <laughs> and I didn't want it to make her look too red or too orange or anything like this and that was a really nice light bronzer if you don't want to buy this elf palette um, Hula or a benefit does have the Hula light bronzer as well so it's just a little bit lighter than the regular Hula bronzer but this one I feel like is really nice if you have red hair or if you're really 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 pale and also I'm gonna take an elf like blending brush and I'm going to contour down the side of her nose just to kind of slim that down I personally like to contour all of my clients noses it's not a necessity not a step that needs to be done and then I just take a little bit more of that um, Dermablend setting powder and go along the side of the nose just to bake the nose this is really going to snatch the nose if you want to look extremely snatched <laughs> and then for blush I'm using this Lazy Bahamas blush the one in particular that I'm taking is Pina Colada which is in the left bottom corner and I'm taking that with another dual fiber brush I really like to use dual fiber brushes for foundation or I'm sorry for blushes because I feel like it shears it out enough to where you have some color but it's not too much color and then now I'm taking the Sam Marcel highlighting palette and also using the absolute lightest shade in that highlighting palette to highlight her skin and I'm taking a Morphe highlighting brush I'm not sure of the number of it because I just like I bought it like a month ago but I've never used it this was the first time I used it so I'm not sure of the number of it but it is a really nice brush she was complimenting how soft it was um, I feel like this is a really 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 nice highlighting brush because it diffuses the product really 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 well but it also applies it pretty nicely so after I'm done with that I'm taking a makeup geek like pencil brush it's a really small defining brush and I'm just taking the Mary luminizer from the balm and popping that on the tip and the bridge of the nose and now I'm just taking a little bit of um, extra setting powder just to go underneath to catch any fallout and now I'm using a L'Oreal still kiss me eyeliner in the shade teal this is one of my favorite absolute eye favorite eyeliners <laughs> it is such a pretty eyeliner I wanted to do a pop of color just because I felt like peaches and teals look really good together so and I haven't really gotten a chance to use the shade Paloma out of this palette so I'm taking that on a Stilazzi like it's like a smudge brush I guess you could say and just smudging that right underneath of the lower lash line and just for a nice pop of color I feel like it just adds the perfect little pop if you wanted you can also put it in the inner corner and use the same shades that you used on the top on the bottom if you wanted to but I feel like this pop of color would really make her eyes pop and look really nice and then right now I'm using Shimma Shimma from Makeup Geek and just putting that into the inner corner 
for a nice bright inner corner highlight of course same pencil brush for makeup geek as well and then to set her face i'm using the mario badescu facial spray spray with aloe cucumber and um i forget the other one but she said she loves this she uses it on her everyday basis so that is really nice and it's just going to refresh and make everything mold together and set all of that powder in as well for lipstick we are using the Jap japanesque lipstick in the shade bamboo it's kind of peachy but it's kind of neutral natural it's not natural on her but i feel like if someone like myself or someone a little bit more tan would wear it it would be more of a natural kind of nude but on her it's a little bit more peachy kind of peachy kind of brown i guess you could say so i ended up going in with a krylon liquid lipstick or liquid lip gloss it's a high gloss in the shade toffee which is just a couple shades lighter it's going to add a nice little sheen a nice little gloss and also lighten it up a little bit but after that that wraps up my video you guys i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you guys are enjoying the clients makeup tutorials if you are please give it a thumbs up if you're also a natural redhead give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe before you go and i'll see you soon Mwah. bye